Hello, everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Welcome back to Leecher Suit Library 3. Ugh! Don't know why I did that. So last time we sat through a really, really, really bad comedy show with looked like a kind of a cross between Paul Reiser and Paul Reiser. That mullet was fantastic, but the jokes were awful. We got to meet Bill Skirvin and Al Lowe. They insulted our taste in what we actually said, and then they beamed out like Jordi LaForge. All right, I think we have everything we need now to continue with our plan of getting pretty much the only money I think we're going to get this entire game. I might be wrong, well, at least until we're able to get a divorce. So let's go change into my disguise. Actually, before I even do that, I wonder... No, I'm not even going to bother. I was going to say, maybe I could try and sell the little sculpture I made to Tawny, like, right away. I, I don't want to ruin my chances. So let's say, change into skirt. There we go. You remove your leisure suit and hide it into the stall while slipping into the grass skirt. Boy, you look like a native now. And I'm not sure if you actually need the lay. It doesn't seem like it would complete the outfit, but yeah, I'll be, I might as well go all out. There we go. Might try that again later. Wow, look at that pudge. He looks it looks really good from this angle. It looks all cut. Then you look at him on the side, he's like, brawl. Hmm. I guess I don't need the lay. I guess the grass skirt is all I need. Well, I always have a lay if I ever need it. I am not gonna make a get laid joke. Souvenirs! Souvenirs! Get your genuine nun tonight souvenirs! Oh wow, souvenirs! What to settling? Genuine Native Islander designer labeled erotic carvings for only $20. But you better hurry, I only have one left. Well, I might be interested. Does it have any special features? Your disguise seems to be working, Larry. Tony doesn't recognize you. I'm glad you asked. There is one small part that might attract your eye. But... <laughs> okay. By the balls of Odin, it's a deal. But I don't know what about art, but I know what I like. <laughs> I know what I like. You're lucky, I'm down to my last 20 bucks. Here you are. Thank you very much, miss, and uh, use it in good health. Score, well, bye. Have fun with that. <laughs> By the balls of Odin, coming from the delicate mouth of Tawny. All right, we need a new one. All right, uh, I don't think I need the grass skirt anymore at this point, so let's just change back into my uh, regular attire. Yup. Since you have no further use for the silly grass skirt, you toss it through the hole conveniently placed in the floor. You presume for just this purpose. Hmm, I don't get any points for changing back. That's kind of lame, but I do have 505 points. Score out of 4,000. We have such a long way to go. Yay, all right, she's gone. We have finally gotten our use out of Tawny, which means her towel is mine. Don't know what I need it for, but there we are. Look, water. It looks kind of nice. The reflection of the brilliant tropical sun off the waters of Nun Tonight Lagoon has a beautiful aquamarine glow, due in part to the quantity of raw sewage dumped directly into the water by Natives Incorporated, although zillions in corporate revenue have been saved in the process of non-processing. You suppose that means swimming is not recommended. Wow, did not take a long for us to spoil nature, did it? In our own home country! No less. Ooh, hi, lizard! Look, lizard. A bright red lizard scampers across the rocks of Son of a Beach. Bye, little lizard. Oh, you're gonna stay put. Uh, you stuck your tongue out at me. Jerk! Hmm, alright, now what? What do we have? So we have 20 bucks, a beach towel, a quick lay, haha, uh, the soap and a knife. Hmm, what am I gonna do with this stuff? Uh, 20 bucks. Will 20 bucks get me in to see the show, maybe? Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. I don't think I can actually buy a ticket right from here, but it's worth a try. Buy ticket. Nothing worth buying here. Hmm. Mm, I have to have a ticket. Some of the local tourist magazines have free passes. Okay, so we've got to find one of those tourist magazines, but the only thing I've been able to find so far to read has been the newspaper that's sitting at that park, which has no real purpose that I can find. Let's see if anything's changed now that we've earned a couple of points. Anything happening in the piano bar? No, piano bar is still dead. 
It's weird because there's not a lot I can actually spend my money on. Uh, well, let's go see if uh, one of the lawyers are available just yet. Fancy. Nope, still can't talk to a lawyer. Ugh. Well, we'll just go everywhere and see what's changed, if anything has changed, or can I do anything new? Has anything appeared? Help me out here, game. Oh, I can apparently use the towel and get a self- Oh, I get myself a nice little tan. Oh, that's- That's why he stands up here. He's pretending to be my penis, he is. Wow, he's just having himself a grand old gyrating time. Like, I can get a nice suntan here. Uh, will I? Or am I just gonna burn to a crisp like I normally do? Ooh, my tan now looks marvelous. Alright, cool. Let's stand up before I die. Actually, I wonder if it is possible to, uh, to die here. As the tropical sun slices through a hole in the severely depleted ozone layer directly above the pollution of none tonight, you seem to remember reading an article somewhere about UV overexposure being dangerous. Oh, oh wow. I am in completely engulfed in flames. I look like a gorilla. Some guys never learn. Another case of executive burnout. Oh, I wonder if I order a hit book. Is that the same number I dialed before? Let me check my phone history. No, no, this one's different. Well, you know we gotta try that. Yeah, I, I want to order the uh, Leisure Suit Larry 3 hint book. Okay, fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, somebody bought the number. It seems to be a, a tractor service. All right, so I had a thought, and the only uh, the only paper I could find in the game was the actual paper, but the manual for Leisure Suit Larry 3 does look like a travel brochure. So I think what we need is actually going to be inside the manual itself. Yeah, it says help. Without this guide, you'll be lost. Uh, let's see, the Pink Flamingo Disco. I already checked, there's no real story to begin with for Lisa Suit Larry 3. It doesn't give like uh, his, you know, how he was a software developer and hoody blah. It does give you a couple little hints like native crafts of, yeah, crafts, crafts of None Tonight involve grass weaving. Oh, it actually shows you how to do it. So you weave like this and then around and then blah, you make the flying spaghetti monster. Uh, oh, so we learn how to make lays, wood carving. Oh, if you don't want to spend up to $20 for a sculpture, you might want to try carving your own. Granadilla wood is another item that isn't as expensive as it once was in Nun Tonight, but you can still find it. Free for the taking! Interesting. So that's where I got the idea. I actually learned how to do all those things from the manual. Let's see. Comedy Hut. Is there anything about the show? What else is see? Offshore oil rigs. Let's see. Uh, oh, Natives Incorporated recent leasing of none tonight mineral rights for Slippery Oil Incorporated has many island residents concerned about possible pollution of our beaches and local waters. We ran into Chairman Kenneth relaxing on Wakiki Beach just before press time. Is there a pollution problem? We asked him. Absolutely not, he replied, scraping a bit of sludge from the bottom of his sandal. Hmm. All right. Well, I do not think he has everyone's best interests at heart. Oh, well, look at this. Let's see. So here's all the classes, wood carving, native grass weaving, how to get laid. So I learned how to do that. I guess I attended these classes. Today must be Thursday because there's exotic dance lessons with Cherry Tart, who's going to be at the gym. We'll meet her later. Uh, Friday, introduction to sexual aerobics until 1 in the morning. Wow. From 9 p.m. to 1. That's, that's a hell of a session. Uh, Saturday, how to keep a marriage new, healthy, and together. A seminar with la 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 laffer Okay. So today must be Thursday or Friday, because if this was scheduled for Saturday, I'm pretty sure that's canceled. And then how not to pick up women by with Larry Laffer. That's me. Oh, Polly's personal pointers. A mixture of carbon tetrachloride, denatured alcohol, and boiled sand crabs is just the thing to remove crude oil stains and delicate fabric of your bathing suit lining. Do you have a hint? Send it to Polly at none tonight tonight. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, special this month, Unix. That's the public uh, operating system that uh, I designed in the last game. Neat. All right, there's uh, Sherry Tart. Uh, oh, no, Sherry Tart. She's not the gym person. She's the one who does the show. We'll meet her later. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just show your pass to the maitre d' for an evening you'll never forget. Pass number 25695. That's what we need. So there must be a way to, like, show him this brochure or something. Let's try it out. Uh, I got points for that. Okay. I could have sworn I looked in the other mirror. I guess this mirror is different. So I guess technically we have a ticket, so give ticket. 
Hey, it works. Excuse me, sir, but I'd like to see tonight's show. I have my copy of None Tonight Tonight right here. Oh, really? Well, for tonight's show, I'm only allowed to accept free passes for ad on page nine. What's the number of the page pass over there? And there it is, 18608 on page nine. Oh, copy protection, you're great. Well, well, very good, sir, says the maitre d'. His tone and mannerisms changing entirely, but I must have made a mistake. It appears there are no more seats available for this show. I'm so sorry, but maybe something will open up later. Is Are you trying to grab my testicles, sir? All right, fine. Give money. I can't believe he's holding my seat hostage. What a dick. Why, thank you very much, sir. Well, look at this. I seem to have found a nice front row seat available here. Allow me to show you to your seat. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, sold out show. Ooh, it's a, oh, this is extravaganza. You quickly make your way through the crowd of men and take one of the few remaining seats near the rear of the showroom. Oh, come on, let's get this show started. Are you guys just doing warm-ups? Or is this the show? Let's turn up the speed, see how funny that looks. <laughs> yes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Sherry Tarr. Go down low. Oh, this is cool. Up she comes. Wow, she must be in mating season. That's not a very good dance, Sherry. I appreciate it. Sherry, I can do that. Okay, I can't do that. Whoa, evidently the men in the audience like Sherry's act as they begin to toss dollar bills on the stage. Um, is this is not a striptease joint, uh, guys. You don't. This is like this is like throwing dollars on a stage at a Broadway show. That's really rude. Isn't she wonderful, ladies and gentlemen? Let's really hear it for her own little Sherry Tar. Don't you want to grab those dollars before you go? Sure. Okay. Well, I'll go vacuum up later, I guess. That concludes tonight's two-hour spectacle. None tonight for you. You must clear the auditorium now as our second show begins shortly. Good seats are still available, so tell your friends. Good night, and walk safely on your way home. Uh, I guess he has to say that because there are no cars. What a show, huh, Larry? Too bad you came at the last minute, so you only saw the last minute. Ah, minute. Hmm. What a show, hey, buddy? How about that Sherry Tart? Interesting. This must be Sherry up here. Look, posters. Poster on the wall advertising the current showroom headliner, the lovely exotic dancer, Miss Sherry Tart. I wonder if this is backstage. Can I go see her? A sign on the door reads, Stage door. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized personnel. Oh, oh, there she is. Hi, Sherry. You changed fast. Is that Sherry or is that like your producer? Hello, beautiful. I love your dancing. You say to the gorgeous woman in the dressing gown. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. I'm on the phone, Larry. Hello yourself, Larry, re replies the bathrobed beauty, turning to face you. I'm Sherry Tart. Uh, what's wrong with your face, uh, Sherry? Okay, uh, uh, you know what? No, no comment. You are talking with Sherry Tart, the headline dancer in the casino showroom. Hey! Hello, she says with a smile. Her lips are just so swollen. Your legs are so swollen. So, Sherry, tell me what you want to do with your life. I love to quit show business, get a little farm someplace out in the country where I could be alone and raise organically grown vegetables, fruits, and herbs. Hmm, okay, so that's what she wants. She wants land, lots of land. Don't fence her in, says Sherry Tart. Well, Sherry, I'm just the opposite. I have hundreds of acres of land coming into my possession soon, but I'd love to be in show business. Oh, Larry, you're so lucky. How I wish I had some land. All right, so that's why we have to get that divorce. We'll get our land from Kalalalalao, and then we'll give it right to Sherry in exchange for favors, because that's how Larry works. I hope you'll find what you're seeking, Sherry. I really like the music here. It's kind of, kind of Final Fantasy Nine-ish in a kind of in a way. This is actually really nice. <laughs> Alright, well, bye, Sherry. 
We'll talk to you again later, all right? I'll come back with land, lots of land in this country that I love. All right, that sounds like it's a cue for me to get my divorce paperwork finally settled. I still feel like it's too early, but you never know. All right, please, come on. I feel like this is like the first thing I have to do to get this game really moving, and it's not letting me. As they say in the Phantasmagoria, exploration is knowledge. All right, so apparently if I ask about the land specifically, something, it, I guess maybe it treats it differently. Um, it is my understanding that island custom dictates automatic transference of ownership of any lands in a couple's possession to the husband upon divorce. I'd like to begin a proceeding. Is there anyone here that can help me? Oh, come on. Unfortunately, all, we can please return in a few, okay. Ugh. Oh few minutes yawn yeah I hear you buddy oh god all right I've been everywhere I went back to Sherry and I figure even though we did talk about the land I can talk to her about land a little bit more specifically and maybe this will give me what I need all right so you know I got some land coming from a recent development no use for it would you like a few acres oh there we go jeez I've I've been walking around for no joke like 10 minutes just in a, in desperation mode. Do I, why, Larry? I do anything for a little piece of land, but I must run. I still must get ready for the next show. Okay, well, bye. I guess. Okay, so maybe now, finally. I certainly enjoyed our little chat together, Larry, and I'll look forward to hearing from you again soon. Now, if you'll pardon me, I must head backstage. Our stage manager has such a short fuse for a guy with such a sour disposition. When you get the deed to the land, just knock softly on that door over there. I'll be waiting near the door. Till then. Oh, Larry, I can just picture my little country place now. All right, there we go. Now I think we're finally ready, after a lot of bullshit, to get. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I never noticed this. Look. Oh, never mind. I saw, I thought I saw myself, like, walking in the background up there. But it's just another guy in a very similar suit walking in the same pace and direction as myself. Thought it was cool. Totally wasn't. All right, do we cheat him and how? Are you gonna be open now? Please. I'm not really sure how I knew about the whole land thing to begin with, but whatever. I'd like to talk to one of your attorneys about a real estate ownership transfer. Is there someone available to help me? Oh, there, there, there we go. Good day, Mr. Laffer, certainly. Do we cheat him and how is the right place for all your legal needs. At this time, Mr. Howe was taking dep depositions of the court hut and Mr. Dewey is tied up in court. However, Miss Cheatham is readily available. Just walk through the door immediately behind me and I'll tell her that you're here. Thank you, Mr. Riser, at last. What an awful office. Good day, Mr. Laffer, says the attorney from behind the desk with a smile. I'm Susie Cheatham. How may I help you? Please make yourself at home. Have a seat on my couch. Okay, I'll do that. Miss Cheatham, allow me to come right to the point. My wife, was a wonderful woman and brought to our marriage a considerable dowry consisting of a few no-load mutual funds and some extensive real estate holdings. I was wondering if there was any easy way for me to get my hands on that land. I've heard of some ancient island tradition concerning men and real property. Say no more, Mr. Laver. I know exactly what you mean. According to ancient island custom, any land owned by either of both spouses, upon dissolution of the marriage, becomes exclusive property of the male member of the household. Congratulations, Mr. Laver. You are now the owner of a considerable chunk of none tonight real estate. I'll make the necessary arrangements and have Roger, my secretary, boilerplate the papers for you. What does that mean, boilerplate? Let's see. Look, woman. She looks kind of like uh, Jessica Jones. In a way, except she, like, is happy. Well, I guess that's all there is to it. Okay. Well, bye. I guess. Thanks for that. It really seemed like something the secretary could have handled. He's got a really nice computer right in front of him. Um, is that deed ready? Miss Tiedem has instructed me to prepare your land deed. I'll have it ready soon. Why don't you come back in a few minutes, Mr. Lapper? And by a few minutes, it probably means out and in again. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Absolutely, Mr. Lapper. Here it is. But you know that land is so isolated from the main tourist area, she'll never be able to sell it to a developer. It's nothing but worthless forest land. No one can build a tourist trap there. Uh, no matter, my good man. Give me that deed post haste. Oh, there it is. I have it. There it is. Land deed. Whereas, 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 there and hereby corpus electi, wherefore, grant the bearer to the tribes of Nuntanite Island 640 acres of rare virgin forest land. 
perfect. Well, that's exactly what we need for my own selfish purpose. All right, Sherry, I'm coming and I got the land deed all ready for you, baby. Daring to defy the authorized personnel only sign on the stage door, you knock softly one, two, three times. You hope Sherry is true to her word. A small voice whispers through the door. Larry, is that you? You think to yourself, thank heavens, it's Sherry. You whisper through the door. Yeah, Sherry, it's me, Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Oh, Larry, you've been waiting for your return. Did you get the deed? I've got it right here, sweetheart. And I think you know how much I'd like to give this to you. This is your big chance. Now you can give up show business and move to your own little place in the country. Oh, Larry, 640 acres of virgin nuntonite rainforest perfectly suited for slash burning and typical agricultural pillage? You've made me the happiest woman on earth. Come on backstage and allow me to properly express my appreciation through cheap and tawdry sex. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna little something for Kalalalala's worthless farmland after all. Oh, Larry, you're so wonderful. You've given me what I've always wanted. Ah, oh, I think you know what I've always wanted. Sherry smiles at you in the darkness. At last, I'll be able to remove this costume and never wear it again. Oh, I, I, I like the rooster costume. Blonk. All right. Off your tail. Beautiful. Oh, and off that too. There we go. Well, foreplay be damned. What are you, modest? Hurry up, Larry. The second show's about to start. You carefully consider her offer. But not for long. Okay. Blonk. Yes, take my fat body. Oh, Larry, don't you just love the real estate business? There we go. Oh, my, oh, my. Thumpy, thumpy. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Yep, definitely got the filth levels turned up on this one. Woo. Oh, Larry, I could go on like this all night. The question is, can Larry? <laughs> You're the only one. Uh-oh. Who turned off the light? Oh, what's that drum roll? Oh no! Quick! Larry, get dressed, the second show is starting! Oh, you both scramble to find, sort, and to wear whatever articles of clothing you can find. Are we on the stage? Jeez, dark, Sherry. I can't tell what's what. Uh, I think I know exactly what's gonna happen. Lady and gentlemen, welcome to Nun Tonight for You, our most spectacular tribute to the thing we all love most, hardcore nudity! <laughs> Where's my pants? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the star of our show, Miss Sherry Tart. Oh, no. Mission report, December 16th, 1991. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. On with the show. I don't want to cause any kind of civil war here. Hundreds of people, all of them staring at me. And you're caught, Larry, red-handed too, and wearing Sherry's costume as well. I think you would have been able to know that what you were wearing had huge feathers sticking out of the back of it. Ladies and gentlemen, the star of our show, Miss Sherry Tart. In your hurry to just backstage, you must have grabbed the wrong clothes. But that's why your underwear was such a tight fit. All right, Larry, come on, get out there. Our star, Sherry Tart. Get out there, Larry, come on, Sherry. You begin, you're about to the, the beginning of the runway. How come I don't get the elevator? Well, Larry, you've done it again. Now what are you going to do? Dance! Okay. Summoning up all your courage, you begin to wiggle your way down the runway. Da, da, da. Sing along with me. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Okay. Larry, you're doing great. They all just must appreciate your doubts and begin to throw dollar bills at you. Look, Larry, they're throwing money at you. They like you. They really like you. Larry, you're actually really good at this. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I want to watch that more. Time passes. Time in which you dance and dance and meanwhile pick up many, many $1 bills. You dance until your legs just can't take it any longer, which really isn't that long considering you are wearing a pair of high heels three sizes too small. Oh, wow, look at me. I'm fantastic. The Major D. Wisecracks, you seem to be a big hit with the audience. $501 bills ain't bad for your first night. Just imagine, I've got to have all that fun and make money, too. Why, that was even better than being a programmer for Sierra Online. Wow, okay, can I actually go back there and get my suit back? and see, get, uh, open door. Actually, there's my clothes, but I... I kind of like this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's good for right now. So let's leave Larry in this big ostrich outfit for as long as humanly possible because it makes me oh so gleeful to see him 
out of his element. And look, it's just, it's just so flamboyant. You've got to love it. And the, that pudge is really starting to show through. What's filling out your bra, Larry? Anyway, so next time we'll pick up, we'll finalize our divorce papers. Maybe we'll see what kind of mischief we can get into with our new costume. And I don't know, maybe we'll just kind of give up the swing in life and just become a professional dancer. If we're going to make $500 a show, that's incredible money. For 1989 or 88, whatever this was made, 1991, I forget. When was it? 1989. Oh my God, look at that thong. And on that bombshell, <laughs> good night, jelly beans. Good night, glorious. <laughs>